Okay, we're gonna, it's kind of crowded in here. So, I gotta think of a dance. Uh, oh my God, uh, guys. I can't see my legs. So why don't we do the, um, the uh, kangaroo? Let's do the David box up here? I'm the best dad. Be patient, all that's gonna come up. Oh man, I'm so, ex I'm so excited. You gotta have Salome, all that's gonna come up. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> so excited. I do need a ride after I finish performing. I, I write gospel music and contemporary Christian music, and I need a ride to the churches around Pittsburgh that I can drop off my sheet music and put them in the mailbox. I get paid uh, royalties when churches use my music through CCLI, Christian Copyright License, and GIA Publishing Company. So if someone would like to help me out, I'd really be appreciated. Hell yeah. And then John will give you the address of the hotel I'm staying and drive me back there afterwards. I, I tried to walk there, and I ended up, I, I brought a homeless guy that said he had no, nothing to eat. I gave him a whole bag of, of leftover food that I had, and water, and I hope he uses it wisely. Look, I made a, I made a new video for this part. Okay. Um, do you listen to other musicians for inspiration? Yes. yes. So, I, I was inspired by the Beatles. Woo! I was by a bowl of the Four Tops, right. uh, Fifth Dimension, yeah. uh, Donna Summers. Yeah. She was uh, outstanding. Uh, I got to meet her before she died, and she was very influenced and joyful in my music career. And I, I learned from uh, a lot of uh, past musicians. The past, the past makes the present. <laughs> And I learned from the past. I also was studied um, classical music. I went to uh, Berkeley School for Music Theory and Piano. Then I went on to UCLA for Music Theory and Piano in LA City College. Woo! 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 So, I was acting and comic, and uh, I took stand-up comedy from uh, a favorite comedian from. Uh, Ohio named Jonathan Winters. He was teaching a uh, uh, stand-up comedy class. He was very good. Woo! Okay, this person asks, what alien race is the greatest threat and why? Reptilians, grays, Aryan slash whites, or another? Well, the, um, I, that, this is uh, the, uh, I don't want to offend anybody, but uh, the, uh, the, their, their, the bloodline uh, it came from, uh, from the, the Omegans that are from Star Caladan, and, the, and the, they're also the reptilians of the lizard people. But we, I hope and pray that, they learn, that we all can learn to get along. Mm. Those are the Irish, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, he, Irish are the most dangerous humans. You know? no, no, no. Jonah, you, he, you, he, 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 he's Jewish, he says whatever's on his mind. So there's a lot of good Irish people, but you know, good and bad and Irish. People are like mixed chocolates, you don't know what you're going to get. Let's <laughs> race to the juice. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. okay what? Where, where did race to the Jews come from? Well, the Reptilians. Reptilians as well? I thought those were Irish. No, that, those are the lizard people. The, the, the lizards and the reptilians they're, 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 are different. Yeah, they're different. Okay. You, can, if you want to learn about aliens, Go to go to MUFON in your local area. Woo! MUFON is M-U-F-O-N, 
And uh, you can learn a lot from retired military <clears throat> people. You become friends with them, they know a lot. Uh, my cousin Phyllis McKinnon was a retired Army officer and she worked at Vice Patterson's Air Force Base. She showed me the computers and the cell phones and the GPS way before they came out, way back in the 70s when I uh, first moved in and did garden and yard work for our eight apartment building. She says, all this new technology would be in every home and business and it's ancient technology that they got from the working with extraterrestrials. They built the pyramids and everything. Yeah. yeah! They took out books of the Bible that talked about aliens, that yes. taught the prophets in the Bible, that the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, these angels were really uh, space kings that came out of spaceships. They called them uh, the will within a will. You read the beginning of Ezekiel. And, and, they took, and they took out the whole book of Enoch that talked about how Enoch was taken up in a spaceship and taught algebra, trigonometry, and, and, and subtraction and adding that we use today. But they they only want the high up people to know what's really going on. Exactly. Woo. Woo. Thank you, David. Woo. Yeah, David. Okay, any other questions? <laughs> this cheeky person asks, what's your dad's email address? My dad, hell of us, leave a heart, he's dead. He died 15 years ago before, uh, and, uh, he, and I got cheated out of the home in Park Forest, Illinois. My uncle Danny uh, got married in the family, talked my sisters into selling the home at 117 West, which right behind my back. And then, uh, and it gets worse than that, when I was taking care of my cousin folks, forgetting her boyfriend inherited all eight buildings and threw me out for nowhere to go, gave him $2,000 to leave. So it was, I mean, oh, but one great thing that I want to tell you, which is great. Someone in my family from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, left me property. So you can find, I need a good lawyer to help me uh, uh, get that property. Saul Goodman. Okay, give me his phone number. I have okay. to get that. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, we got any questions from anyone else? Here? We got two more. I don't want this to be a question show only. Who's the best dad? Well, my best dad was. Um, I said my best dad was our last president. Hell yeah! Woo! Woo! Obama met with my dad. He the was the best student. dad. Yeah, he was a wonderful man. In fact, though, uh, my dad uh, met Obama way back uh, and, and was praying for his success and uh, I told him he was going to be the, the best black president that ever was as a Democrat and, and my dad uh, coached him and worked with him and uh, in Park Forest, Illinois. Uh, I wonder if he still if he remembers my dad, hell of us. Uh, he was a retired school teacher mm -hmm. and also was a civil rights leader with Dr. Martin Luther King and Dick Gregory that recently died. And um, Isaac Davis and Ruby D. They, my dad worked with them. And then my Caucasian side worked with the Underground Railroad as many nights and Quakers and free and slaves to the Underground Railroad. So I've had a trend of liberal people in my family. Woo! Okay, one more question. One more question. One more, that's the end of it. Do the Kore one more question. Do the Corinthians really have a spicy taco? Well, I don't know. I've never had sex with them. In fact, I haven't had sex. I haven't had sex since I was last married, so I might as well be a priest. I'm very I've been I've been keeping it clean. But someday I'll meet the right one. But I don't want no gold diggers. I don't want someone that's No gold diggers. No gold diggers. No, 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 no con artists or ripoffs. I want people that are honest. That would love me for me, not for what I thought you. Okay, since Halloween is coming up, um, I want to do two Halloween songs, and then I want to bring out my little young and my little son. Woo!